This is a giant dirt abomination that produces a lot of gunpowder an hour. And this is a giant sugarcane farm that produces an insane amount of sugarcane. And this is a giant shulker box farm that has given me an entire double chest worth of shulker boxes. And you know what? I did most of it myself. Hey guys, welcome back to another Population Craft episode. And yes, I really did build all those farms. Uh, let me catch you up to date on what's been happening. But I also built these two farms, and this is a creeper farm here, and that is a sugarcane farm. Well, if you don't believe me on how much these actually produce, I uh, will just take a look at these clips. So I have built this creeper farm already, and um, it's given me quite a lot of gunpowder. So I haven't checked the collection area, but so far we have all of this, this, no, not that, this, this, and this. So um, yeah, we have a lot, but what good is gunpowder without sugarcane? So in just a sec, we're going to begin work on building a sugarcane farm over there. Okay, so uh, I did get a little sidetracked, and I went and raided a woodland mansion. It did not go well. And there it is. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, and we're going to start from the roof and just kind of work our way down. I'm going to put this here, or maybe a shoulder box, and put, like, a shield inside. Um, anyway, I think, I think we're probably ready. Go ahead and put that on just for good measure. Let's break into this mansion. Oh, there's one. And we died. And no. No. gosh, I've ran through here so many times. Oh my gosh, it is not funny at all. Well, we definitely survived that. We didn't die, definitely didn't die a single time. And I th I'd say that was a very, very good success, wouldn't you? I mean, absolutely nothing went wrong at any point in that entire journey. Alright uh, guys, so we're building a lot of farms this episode. Um, but I, I, I want to play a couple of pranks, you know, that sort of thing. So what I've done is I've made um, kind of a community minigame thing, and the game is Tag. You've probably seen this on Hermitcraft. Uh, basically, if you get tagged, the tagging item has to stay in your inventory for a week, um, and then uh, you have to tag someone else. And you can't just go and drop the item in the inventory, you have to be creative in how you do it. And that's what I've done here. So we are going to tag the Savage and Narwhal, and this is going to be really cool. Um, so basically, I'm going to pretend that I've built this really satisfying invention. And he's going to go in here and stand here. And I will go around, and I'll click this, and basically the piston will move the cobblestone, and will drop him into a hole and kill him. And then while he's coming back, I will drop the item into his inventory, and he will not even know that it's there. And it'll be super, super cool. Let's get the Savage and Narwhal, and let's, uh... Let's prank him. Okay, hey Jake. Um, I have built something amazing. I mean, I this is so cool. So I kind of went off of that piston thing, and I built this really satisfying thing on Pop MC. Um, except it kind of does it in a unique way. It's very interesting. Come and try this real quick, Jake. It's at my base over here. Uh, okay. Fire fire. Oh, hi. I just don't need it. Okay. 
So it doesn't work too well with the elytra on, I've noticed. Um, so just, yeah, just put it in there. Dick, I'm going to your base to try to find the The elytra, it, it does weird glitchy things with the elytra, because it, yeah, it's I'll just... I'll take it off. Okay. Um, so just stand right here. Water should come out, but just stand right there. Um, hold on, hold on. Okay. Okay, so Owen, you you want me to step in this kind of yep? Just stand shack right here. Thing. Okay. Okay. And now let me start it. Water should come out down there. I saw you trying to. In reality, me. did water come out down there? It was no, supposed I flew to. back up. You're gonna try to kill me. No, there should water should have come out down there. Did it? Uh oh. Okay. Well, I have feather falling. Hopefully, this doesn't kill me. Nope. Water did not come out. Really, dead gummit. Okay. I'll have to work on it some. Yeah. It's a oh, come on. That was oh, that stupid. Would someone so, help so me? Because that zombie game. picked up all my stuff. Huh? Would someone help me? Because my zombie just picked that zo stupid zombie picked up all my stuff. I don't even know why it? I was at three and a half hearts. Because I definitely dogs. healed up. It's in that hole, Jake. So I'd advise bringing right, a water bucket. Can you place bucket. a ender chest so I can put these up? Oh uh, yeah. Oh, and okay. dude, you can't have Wait, your, the rules iron. of tag by Ghost Storm Plays. What's the? You've been oh, tagged. Wait. Yeah, I was tagged the other day. Look, this doesn't work. What? Come down here. Tag? Jake, stop talking. I guess so. Dude. I wasn't the one that was tagged. I mean, I wasn't the one that started this. Okay, I was the one that was tagged. Oh, and the. All right. I'm still gonna stand in the thing. Take off your elytra for real this time. Oh wait, it won't kill you, right? Do you think it will kill you? Uh, no, probably not. I have feather falling on. Okay. Also, here's your, some of your concrete powder. Thank you. Okay. Anyway, here we go. Did you not fall? Did it not push you? Okay. Just mind the block below you. Just fall down. This is not scuffed at all. Um, again, no, water did not spawn, and yes, you did tag me finally, Owen. Yay! I'm so tired of that! Uh, your, uh, my plan your was to, like, kill you, and then to drop it, it was... into the pile, and then it didn't kill you because you had feather falling. This is so- I knew you were gonna do that as soon as I saw the freaking tag thing. I knew what that was. Alright then. Alright. Oh, I never want to do that again. That was no fun. Alright, so my next project, and this is the one that I'm gonna finish in this episode. Um, it's kind of like a shop, you could say. It is gonna be called Port- the Port Side, or Port Side. Um, basically, um, it's gonna be this nice kind of like I guess you could say tavern or a pub and it's gonna be a location for all things you know uh, buying stuff from me um, getting quests something I'm not gonna touch too much on right now but I, I will touch on it later uh, quests um, trading and just kind of like hanging out play some games that sort of thing um, and it's gonna start out pretty small but we're gonna slowly expand this as we go along but it's gonna start with this yeah basically I'm just kind of building out an outline for this yeah that's kind of nice I really like that so let's kind of let's do some terraforming Okay, well, um, here I am. I've built, uh, port side. So, basically this pond here that I've, um, I believe it's called Midpoint. Yeah, Midpoint Pond. And then here in the middle of Midpoint Pond, we have port side. And port side is a word for, um, out or exterior. Uh, which is funny because the pond is called Midpoint. So the middle and then the exterior. So, it was weird name you think but port side I, I think that's a pretty good name so this is kind of like a hub kind of 
you can kind of say. So we're going to have quests. Um, again, more on that in the future. Uh, selling basic items, community event stuff. You can see uh, we have the mod vote for um, Minecraft Live. We're going to do kind of a thing where we um, all the members guess um, who will win the mod vote. Um, and yeah, that's all we have here for now. But we can slowly add more. Um, and slowly expand port side in the future. Um, just kind of make it like a big thing. So yet again, I got sidetracked and uh, I wouldn't mess around with the Savage Narwhal for a bit. It also did not go well. Nope, oh, good from that high. No. Back to because you still die with those on. Oh. I'm under. Nope. No, no. <laughs> I place the water. Whee! Oh crap, I'm gonna <laughs> land. Uh, oh, I was so confident. No! The water was actually placed down! I did it. I did it. Okay, so um, a lot of things have happened, and I don't have the footage for any of it. So, I'm just gonna kind of explain everything to you. First of all, I've been mining for a lot of diamonds. In fact, I now have more than 24 diamond blocks worth of diamonds. I've I've been doing a lot of work, but um, you can also see I lost all my stuff. That was really annoying. I got all of it back. Yeah, I lost all of it. And then me being the fool that I was, went right back into the nether and mined for more netherite. And this time I actually got netherite and I now have full netherite stuff. And I thought since I don't have the footage of me making these farms that I would just um, tell you how they work. The more you learn. Okay, so if we look in this farm, this is the uh, the creeper farm here. Basically, how this works is, um, you know, Enderman has been griefing it, so I have to fix this. But creepers spawn um, around here, and um, if you don't know this, which if you're a big Minecraft, you probably should, um, creepers are scared of cats. Yes, these these tiny little meowing animals. They're scared of these guys. So they, basically what happens is they run away and they fall into this hole, which as you can see we have multiple layers and they will all fall into here where they will eventually head to their inevitable doom. So how this sugarcane farm works is basically we have some observers meet, meet the observers and when these blocks go to three sugarcane tall, it triggers all the pistons that are here and if I had to guess Let's see, there's seven, 20, close to 70 pistons here. So it triggers a lot of them. And most of the time, excluding this little guy here, um, the sugar cane will fall into the water. And through the power of water flow, we'll go directly into that chest or just fly right past it. That actually probably about caps it for this video. So um, thank you guys for uh, watching. Thank you guys for watching. Please. Please, please, check out some of my other videos, and, uh, peace. Doi, 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 doi. How, how far can we zoom in here? Oh, yeah, it, it hurts my head. And I think, quit F1, oh, oh, that's, that's terrible. Nope, no, no more of that.